Hey, how's it going? It's Jasper from Normal Codes here. And in this software tutorial, we're going to learn how we can display linked records in a list details page, which then we can enable the users to then click on those linked records to drill down and then see even more details of that, of those linked records. The end result of this tutorial will look something like these. We have a homepage where we list out all the projects that we are currently working on. And when the user click on one of these projects, they can then go into the project details page where we see the title, the description, and also we see another list, which are the linked records, uh, which are the milestones that are linked to this project. We can then, um, we can briefly see the team members that are working on these milestones. We can then click on these milestones and then go into a milestone details page where you see all the uh, description or the progress of this milestone. And then we have another list where we display um, all the team members who are working on this project. Uh, before we go on to the software side, let's go into our Airtable database to briefly show you guys what our database is currently looking like to give you a better context. Um, but we will not go into details uh, into how we actually set up linked records because I've briefly shown that in a previous video. So if you're interested, you can check it out from the card. Um, or you can read up on more tutorials on how to use linked records in Airtable. If people are still confused, let me know in the comment down below if we need an uh, individual video on how we set up linked records. Um, so yeah, let's check out our Airtable setup for now. Um, we have three tables, project, milestones, and users. Um, from the project side, as, as you can see, we have two projects, alpha and beta. We have some brief, uh, some notes to as brief description of these projects. We have a status, and also we have um, a linked uh, record field, which shows uh, which are the milestones attached to these specific project. And then we have a milestone table. We have four milestones right now, and um, each milestone will have a percentage bar to show the progress, and also another linked record um, of users who are working on these specific milestones. Um, and then last but not least, we have a user table. This is a pretty uh, simple setup where we have username, email, uh, image, usually it's for profile, but I have them blank for now. And we have some uh, simple department uh, tags and we can see which milestones the users are working on. And so yeah, now that we have the Airtable setup out of the way, let's see how our software side is set up. On the software side, we'll have three pages, a page where we have the main project list. You can have this page as a separate page, but for the tutorial, I simply made the home page to have the main list block. We will then have two more pages for list details, one for project and one for milestone details. In the home page, we'll set up a list block where we map the fields to our project table. What fields you want to expose here is really all up to your use case. You can also display the linked milestones like I did here as well, but the users won't be able to click on the milestones from here. They will always have to go into the project details page first. Hence, for the on-click action, we set the block to be opening page project details. Now, let's go to the project details page. The first block we have here is a simple list block, list details block, where we have the title of the project and as well as the description of the project. We then add a list block to display all the milestones, which are the linked records to this project. The list block will be mapped to milestones and the fields to expose here are already up to you. I simply have the milestone number and the team members here. Now, we have to add a conditional filter for this milestone. Uh, list block here, where we display only the records matching this conditional setting, this condition setting, um, where project is project name. This condition is to ensure that we only displaying, we are only we are only displaying the milestones related to this specific uh, specific project. Without this condition, the milestone list block will display all the items from this milestone table that we have here in our Airtable. In the cases where you, where you only care about showing your users um, the linked records, in my case, 
the milestone. Let's say when the user click on the project from the previous list, uh, I don't really want to show any project details. I just want to show the milestones um, that's related to this project. I will still have to add this list details block. This list details block is essential to make sure that Softer knows this page is supposed to be displaying content uh, related to this project. But you don't really need to show any details if you don't want to. You can simply disable all the fields here and then make the margin to be zero, make the background to be white, or do, ev do whatever to make it invisible to your users. But always remember that you, ha you have to have this list details block on the page. Otherwise, uh, we won't be able to even correctly show the relevant milestones on this list block. Okay, what we want is to enable user to, to, to click on these milestones and then direct them to another list details page where, where they can see the details about um, the linked user's record. Uh, we will set the on-click action to this block to open page milestone details. In the milestone details page, we'll have the list details block, which um, I've, I've explained is essential to have here, and we'll map to table milestone. We then have another list block here, and then we map it to our user table. We'll also set a condition just like before to make sure that the user we display in this block are actually assigned to this milestone. And because a user, if we go back to the error, error table, we can see that they may have multiple milestones attached to them. From our table, each one of them has more than one numbers in the linked milestone field. So our condition needs to be set to milestone. It's one of milestones numbers. As to the fields, it's really up to you what you want to expose here. I simply have the user's name, email and department here. And if we publish our project like so, we will have our end result where the user can click on the project from the list and go to the project details page where we list um, all of the milestones that, that belong to this project. And then we can click on the milestone to see a list of team members who are working on the milestone. And there you have it. This is how you can display link records in a list details page and also enable users to be able to click on those records and drill down to see more details. Hope this video helped like um, comment and share this video if it did and if you enjoyed this video um, subscribe to this channel for more content to come until next time ciao